This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Neil versus Ruffin. Miss Neil, you and your girlfriend have been in a same-sex relationship for six years now, is that correct? Yes. And that relationship is in jeopardy because you believe she's cheating on you. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Tell the court why you've opened this case today. Well, Your Honor, I believe that she's been cheating because of all the things that I've been seeing on Facebook. We uh, both stay in two separate cities, and, and I just really just... Just from, like, the um, Facebook statuses that she's been making mm -hmm. about her being horny, about her being lonely. And, and, and I'm like, why won't you text that to me instead of just letting the whole world see that? And let's put your relationship in jeopardy. Yes, definitely. Uh, Miss Neal, you actually submitted to the court in the file the status you're referring to. It says, I woke up horny with no one to give me none. I gotta try to get back to my wet dream. Yeah, and I... Yeah. <laughs> and this makes you think your girlfriend's cheating. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, that's uh. <laughs> and if you find out message. she is cheating, that's it. I'm I'm done. I'm I'm not doing it. I'm not moving up there with her. I'm done. Yeah. All right, Miss Ruffin. Miss Ruffin. Yes. This is some message to see. When I get mad, I put stuff on Facebook. She don't have huh. reason, but that, you... Well, let me see that because this message doesn't say you were mad. <laughs> it just says you were. What it says exactly. is. That I was horny. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> well, I've been trying to get her to Virginia for five months now. Okay. And she, when when I try to get her there and she give me these excuses, I'm getting mad. And I'm trying to get her attention with Facebook. So just do it. So just go So the you posted this out of anger because she's not with you. Yes. But that's not the way to do that. I know I'm I'm a different kind of person. So <laughs> But don't you see your being a different kind of person is putting this relationship in jeopardy? Put, what's putting this relationship in jeopardy is her living in Florida and me in Virginia. No, no, yes. no. We started our first couple of years when we were in college. We'd go home to our respective cities for the summer just before Facebook, before cell phones, before email. You know, it was... Dear Dana, I love you. I miss you. <laughs> so, we talking old school. So, I know what a long distance relationship is like. But y'all old school... That doesn't put it in jeopardy. See, What's old school people know how to keep it together. <laughs> I, I don't know. And there may be on. some truth in that, but y'all gotta learn that. You can't use that as an excuse Well, we're not old school, so we can't do it. You can do it. And whether it's old school and... or new school, but you see how that can cause problems in a relationship, right? Yeah. And you see how it's causing problems in this relationship. Yes. How did you all meet? Well, <laughs> well, I was working, and she used to come to my job, but I never noticed her. So, like, one day, I get a Facebook uh, message, and she says, oh, if um, you I don't said, notice me... She I said, know you know I want you. Hold on. I want to I wanna hear her <laughs> side. Wow. I want to hear your side. Okay. <laughs> she told me that if I didn't notice her, she was going to throw a box of crackers at me. So... <laughs> okay, so yeah. did you notice her after that? Yeah, I gave her my number. Okay. Yeah. So, but had you noticed her before then? Nah. Okay, I, so... I had unliked a thousand pictures. I commented on everything. She was not paying me no mind. And, so, you, and you're like, what a girl got to do? Yeah. <laughs> so, we have this cute little beginning. She's yeah. stalking you. You like being yeah. stalked. <laughs> How do we end up at this point with you in court accusing her of cheating? She had cheated before in the past. And when she was working at, at a, um, on a barbecue stand, Okay. The guy that she was working with, he was, like, a little younger than her, so I didn't expect that they'll actually do anything, you know, ha have any type of connection, anything. So, like, I was getting phone calls, people saying, hey, hey I just seen your girlfriend uh, hugged up with the barbecue dude. You know, everybody telling me that and telling me that they seen him kissing. So then I, like, contact her, and I'm like, hey, why is people telling me that you with the guy, and she like, we did get close. So I'm like, what you mean close, like, as you like him? And she like, yeah. So I'm like, Toy, we in a relationship. What do you mean you like him? And that was he... way after the fact. Let me tell you how this happened. In 2014, I told her I wanted to get married. She looked me in my face and told me, <clears throat> I would never marry a female. This her reason for cheating. Now, man. no, um, that's not my reason for cheating, but right, I'm so... talking to the judge. So, Ooh. I hold grudges. And I held that grudge from that day on because I felt like, what goal do we have in this relationship? 
why are we in this relationship? So, two years after that, that's when that happened at, at my job or whatever, and I started cheating, but I had my grudge. And I felt like, well, I'm, I'm sorry, before that, this marriage thing came up again. So, she's now saying, let's get married. Yeah. But you still carrying a grudge from when she said she wouldn't marry Oh, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> so, when it came down to it, we sitting down, we talking about it. So then she came up with another excuse. She said, maybe we need to get settled down first. We got a house, a car, we work, we got money. Settle down how? We already settled down. Right. So I took that marriage book and I threw it in the back of the trunk and now I don't care. Okay. When I get to that point where I don't care, I just don't care. I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Okay. And so that's when you started cheating? Yeah. Yeah, but she kept denying it, though. You know what I'm saying? She kept saying that they wasn't doing anything. She was just staying the night with him. You know what I'm saying? It was just, it was just like lies after lies. Like, even in the text message, I even read that he said something about having sex. And she was like, oh, no, he just orally gave me sex. That's it. What happens next? It was about, like, a week later, find out that she's pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, I found out she was pregnant. Uh, she, yeah, she texted my phone and was like, I'm pregnant. All right, well, here's the thing. Me and, me and Judge Cutler are just judges. We're not doctors. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it don't take a doctor to figure out that you didn't get her pregnant. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, but that didn't happen. <laughs> so, Miss Ruffin? Yes, ma'am. Is, Is this the another... barbecue man the... Is this another grudge thing? I mean, that's where it all came from with me, because I be trying to reach out to her and tell her what's going on with me, but she just, oh, you lying. She don't even want to hear it. Well, but it is, yeah, it was. Well, people event. indulge their grudges a lot of ways. Some people, you know, go out and eat chocolate. Some people shop. Some people oh, buy no. shoes. Buy that's shoes. what I'm talking about. Oh, no. A lot of people don't go out and just get pregnant. Right. Well, I didn't... I what? Okay, yeah. <laughs> or go out and just have sex with, you know, whoever they find. I mean, why are you using cheating as a way to get back at her? I don't know. I really don't know. Do you love her? Yes, I do. Okay, you know, my definition of love, and I think the world kind of sees love this way, is it's not a vehicle or a tool to beat somebody over the head with. I mean, do you understand what I'm saying? That's not where love is. Now, you might be in like with her, you might be in lust with her, and you may be moving toward love. But love, this is my one place. I can come and know I'm safe 24-7. And I don't think that you're creating that safe space for her. So, Miss Neal, let me ask this. She's pregnant. She has the baby. Mm -hmm. What happens then? Well, she continued the affair with the guy. So she like, okay, it is what it is. I'll step over your crime body so I can go back to him. You know, like... Wow. And... Wow, that's a visual. Yeah. So, did you all ever get back together where yep. she's like, I'm through with this gentleman and I'm... Mm -hmm. It's gonna be me and you? Yeah. Yeah, okay. that happened. That so y'all got happened. to that point? Yeah, we got through that point. And we and... did get back together. And so you're back together, you're raising this baby together, is that correct? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm here, I done... Whenever she was pregnant, I bought everything for the baby. I made sure she was good, because she had stopped working. And and I told her, you know, I'll, I'll take care of everything. And... So they... you basically stepped up and have become, been a co-parent. You've supported her financially, yeah. emotionally. Yes. You're co-parenting this child. Yes. But now you think she's cheating again. Is yeah. that correct? Yes. Tell yes, us why you believe that. Because she had the same signs of what she was doing before whenever she cheated. Then I had people calling me, telling me again, especially family members, telling me that he's back up there in Virginia with her this, again. The baby's father. Yeah, the, the baby's father. The same person. The same person. That was in your relationship before. Yes. People are telling you now he's back. Yeah, he's going around. No, well, they were saying that he was going back. around. They, they were saying that he was going around telling people that they're gonna make their family work. Everything's gonna be good with them, and... And this is exacerbated because now you all aren't even in the same city. Exactly, yeah. All right, Miss Ms. Ms. Ruffin, Ruffin, are you having an affair with this gentleman? Or is this continuing? No. 
All right. Did you ask him to come see you? I asked him to come to Virginia to see the baby. But I did that out of anger once again because I asked her to come because I had a babysitting issue for work. Okay. So I had to quit my job because she wouldn't come. And nothing was keeping her from coming this time. And she wouldn't come help me or whatever. So I got mad and texted him and told him I needed him. When was he going to come to see the baby? And he was like, in two weeks or whatever. I never had the intention of letting him come because I actually did it so I can tell her so she can be like, oh, no, I'm finna go up there now. This is the same thing that happened two years ago. Yeah. When, you know, you got mad and decided I'm going to contact him, be involved with him on a level to hurt her. That's where the problem comes in. But you're saying that you didn't sleep with him. After you, after you all got back together, you're saying you did not have any kind of intimate relationship with him. No, he never came to Virginia. I'm not cheating with him. I'm not having sex with him. All right. Um, there's um, Miss Neal's side, there's Miss Ruffin's side, and there's the baby's daddy's side. He is here to testify today. <laughs> Yes, sir. Oh, my <laughs> Good day, sir. How are you? Good evening. Would you state your name, please, for the court? Kendall Jackson. <laughs> All right. Mr. Jackson, have you been to Virginia to visit Miss Ruffin? No. No. Not at all. No, no, sir. All right. Do you think Miss Ruffin is cheating on Miss Neal? I mean, not with me. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I, mean, I don't know what she do, you know, but she ain't cheating with me. Well, thank you, Mr. Jackson, for your thank testimony you. and your clarity. Thank you. Think we've heard enough? I think we've heard enough. We've got Miss Ruffin has cheated in the past with Mr. Jackson, and Miss Neal thinks they're back sleeping together, although we have testimony that he isn't. Miss Neal has heard from her family members that Mr. Jackson has been bragging that this family was going to come back together and they're meeting and they're getting together. And then these various Facebook postings. We had one in the court file about her being horny. And because of all of this, Miss Neal believes that Miss Ruffin is in fact cheating again against her and that she will be done with this relationship if she's cheating. This court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court will call licensed and certified polygraph examiner Tommy Platt to determine is she cheating. <laughs> Ron, please record Mr. Platt. In. Mr. Platt. Mr. Platt, how are you? Good, Your Honors. How are y'all? We're good. Yeah. Thank you for asking. Good to see you, sir. You conducted a polygraph examination of Ms. Ruffin. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. For the court record, would you please state your credentials? I have almost 30 years' experience in the United States military and in law enforcement. I have been a licensed polygraph examiner for over 10 years and conducted nearly 3,000 examinations. All right, so you've done a couple. Yes, ma'am. So there were a number of questions asked. One was, since the birth of your daughter, have you had sexual intercourse with Mr. Jackson? What was Miss Ruffin's response? She stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was being truthful. Ms. Ruffin? <laughs> I don't have anything to say right now. I apologize for that. All right. Ms. Ruffin was asked, since moving to Virginia in April of 2017, have you had physical sexual contact with anyone, man or woman, other than Ms. Neal? What was her response to that question? What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was showing deception. <laughs> Ms. Ruffin, do you have anything to say now? That's crazy. Who, who is it that you've had sexual contact with? It's a girl that sh I told her that I was chilling with, but like on a friend level, 
Mm. But I did have sex with her. Ms. Neal, do you want this relationship to continue now that you've heard this information? I do love her, but after hearing that, it just really puts me in a whole nother mind frame of... It's I... gonna continue. <laughs> Ms. Ruffin, you want the relationship to continue? It's going to. So what you gonna do differently? I'm not gonna cheat anymore. I wish you had said you're not gonna hold grudges anymore, because that's where your source is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a saying that I've heard. It says, same sex, same problems. Same-sex couples have the same problems as heterosexual couples. And so, you cannot use cheating, revenge... Grudges. A, grudges as a means to control the other person in your relationship. Are you willing to do that? <clears throat> I'm willing to do it, but I don't know if I can. Well, and that's a, the first step is I'm willing and knowing that you might need help. And in Miss Neal's heart, even though she's saying, I don't know what to do with this, what she wants to do is be with you. Am I right, Miss Neal? You're right. I care about her. You're right. I want you all to go out there, talk to our counselors. And as we say in this courtroom, do not cheat yourself out of an opportunity to have a happy, healthy, no grudges relationship. Court is adjourned.